There's no way. Oh my goodness. I haven't had sex in so long. Fuck, <laughs> <laughs> that's how it starts? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think anyone heard it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another edition of this podcast. I have Ashcon and Tony talking behind me about dad jokes. There's a lot of drunk guys here, myself included, Ashcon included, Tony included. Um, well, yeah, you're lit though. All right. Um, so yeah, guys, make yourselves at home. Thanks. Ashcon, so orange microphone is yours. Damn. Damn. Nah, we, we got an improv. What? Am All I right. colorblind or does well, that say blue? Say, say <laughs> That's pretty good. Huh? <laughs> I, have I have the dad joke. I have no idea. Tony, take a seat. <laughs> you guys introduce yourselves, get the podcast going. I, who man, I think a lot of professionalism is out the window right away. Absolutely. Ash, try to so, keep your volume between, like, not too peaking there. Yes. Like what about this? That's perfect. Absolutely 100% perfect. Damn. It's condenser mic? I don't know. I don't know what it's called. It's a fucking microphone. <laughs> <laughs> it's a condenser Bad mic. Start. <laughs> Bad start. It's a condenser mic for anyone, who's, who, for anyone who's not a dork. Just kidding. All right, who's the audience? It's a lot of for structure. Um, it's just, it's just I like wish that. I had a stand. I wish I not only had a microphone stand, but a standing desk. Just kidding. Yeah, but you gotta make do with what you have. All right, but you don't have a. All right. Yeah. It just makes me want to be so like. Um, how shall I say? It's a show. Huh? It's like fucking Broadway. It sucks that you can't hear yourself. In headphones. That's the problem. I would sound hideous to myself. Oh, my gosh. Dude, that'd be nice. Thanks. That would be nice. Something about hearing yourself in your headphones makes you, like, much better at this. Yeah, you're absolutely right. But this is season one, and season one, we can't <laughs> make mistakes. <laughs> They're like, yo, remember season one where, like, they couldn't even hear themselves and shit? You know? Yeah. Also, a big part of the podcast game is you have to know your mic space because sometimes you want to do like I'm a far away from the mic effect do you know what I'm saying like one anytime one. you yell look, you back look, away from the mic by I, just I, the right I amount I agree with you 110% like one. yell just yell right now yell about something get, get angry about something uh Brussels sprouts are terrible when they're not covered with at least a little bit of No, no, water. you got to get really mad. No, no, Watch, no. listen. Dude, Watch out for that. When you listen to this back, uh-huh. this is going to make sense. So I need you to talk into the mic and get no, mad no, bro, at something. Yell because my neighbor. This is season one. We don't have those kinds of rules. <laughs> is your neighbor the one with the dog? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, we met. Right. I'm out of this, yo. I'm gonna just lay back and enjoy this. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. No. no. I have two mics. I'm come lay back, back, come back. Maybe I want. Maybe I want to be the podcast interviewer. Maybe I feel this well, role more. Ash yeah. So yes. Now, so yeah. Huh? This is called you. change of format. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, the format's trying to be. Uh, it's like the pieces are trying to fall into place. And we just have to let them. We just have to let them fall into place. <laughs> All right. That being said, why don't you force? <laughs> why don't you force the pieces into place by doing an interview? Okay. I'm gonna interview. I'm gonna interview you. How about? That yeah. chair is so squeaky, bro. This is definitely an interview chair. I feel like this chair is more for the guests, though. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, tell us about yourself. Um. Well, this is my second podcast of 2017. <laughs> this is actually my second podcast of 2017. So, so much more. So as you, as you can me. tell, I've done a lot. Well, all right. You're more qualified. You're the interviewer. You are the one. All right. All right. Just what if hey, I, I have a better idea? Yeah. <laughs> Instead of uh, any one of us. <laughs> Oh man, it's gonna be hard to say. Instead of any one of us being 
the interviewer of each other. Why don't we each like ask a question and then answer and then the answer question. it and alternate, go back, go back and forth. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, I'm I'm gonna start with a question. Yes. Ash going. <laughs> Uh, I want to ask you uh, about, do you consider the length of your hair to be in, <laughs> in any way connected yes. to uh, your opinions on the world, especially rebellious <laughs> <laughs> opinions? Damn. That's such a weird... Because, I mean, come on, like long hair, like... Don't is, care. Long hair, don't care. And I'm not, I'm, it's chicken or the egg. I like it, isn't it? But I want to, I want to hear what, if there's any conscious ideas behind it Perhaps. or sub or not even conscious, not even conscious. Perhaps maybe. I said, be, uh, elaborate. <laughs> <laughs> what, yeah. what does an interviewer say in that? Like there's like such knowledge I don't have <laughs> yeah. right now about being an interviewer. Perhaps I said, <laughs> <laughs> Um, and that's it. Like, yeah. no, no, we gotta, we gotta go on to the next question. <laughs> like, you see that shit so much. Like, any time, <laughs> like, if you ever look up a like Main Maynard interviews, uh -huh. you know Maynard, like, because I really think he's awesome, and I'll I'll watch him do an interview, and it'll be some rep like poor reporter yeah. that's like a huge fan, so they're like super excited to try to ask him a question, and he, just, and he like shuts down or like fucks with them the whole time, and then they don't. They never even get to ask. Fame. That's how you, that's how you're making me feel. Fame. Fame <laughs> is a beast. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, so, on <clears throat> Ashcon. Yes. Do you feel close to fame in some way? Hmm. Close to fame, like yeah, just on some level, do you feel? Do you feel different enough from most people that you're close to fame? Mm, I would say infamy, if anything. <laughs> All right, that's that's fame. No. That's fame. It's uh, yeah, I guess so. I guess, uh, but I don't feel. I don't want fame. Okay. But what what do you think? Tell me, uh, just, we'll come back. I, I want to come back to the fame thing. Right, before right. uh, Tell me, what, just in general, what opinions do you have about society? <laughs> no. <laughs> I didn't. No. no. I'm not going to say no. No, no. Listen, listen. No. I don't. Come on now. Like, are I you don't. wearing a wire? <laughs> It sounds like you. Yeah. It sounds so Look, uh, I don't, the other night, how could I where were you when you made that? Listen, listen. That purchase. question was supposed to come off much more genuine. Than it, it came out so bad. Oh my god! Uh, I'm the uh, one. I just offend my guests. Right. Um, no way. No Yo, way. This is the uh, podcast. You're listening to Anton and Ashlyn, and they're talking all things society. We're gonna take a quick break. Play a song that us three made when we were 14 years old, and we'll be right back. Thank you. So much bag, such bag, we should bag it up. That ass go beep, beep, beep. Yo, that's what's up. After this, we'll have had enough. Yo, so give me some more of that love. Yeah. All right. So much bag, such bag, we should bag it up. That ass go beep, beep, beep. Yo, that's what's up. Uh. Yeah. Step into the beat, take some time to step into Okay, so I, I, need to, your I need to finish this question. Mm -hmm. um, Ashcon, I'm not going to say anything in detail on this podcast. All right. But it's clear <laughs> from... <laughs> You're going the wrong way. <laughs> Come on. You're going the wrong way. <laughs> you know what? Maybe it's best that I do this because right. I don't even know how wrong I am. All right. I'm coming from a faraway land. Where I've only heard some stories. That's a great Nine place to be as an interviewer what? right now, actually. Because I can what? ask this pretty just uh, straightforward. Uh, I've heard some things. Yes. And some stuff. Uh-huh. Uh, 
first, let's talk about this stuff. Yeah, you get, we gotta be Bro, vague. We, go we gotta be vague on this. House. You're making him sound guilty as fuck. Go to anything else. <laughs> I said <laughs> check the tapes. About Frogger, but it's, as an like, interviewer, it's what I wanna know. That's, that's, that's what I'm interested okay, okay. in. That's this what I'm interested season in. season one. I, yeah. I'm, not, I'm not saying it's making for the best podcast. <laughs> I just don't but, want him to come off more guilty than he is. No way. No, I don't want to. I don't want. I don't want there to be any feelings of guilt to this because it's like a genuine be. interest that I'm asking for. Oh, please. Um. Do you feel like you? Let, let me start with this. Do you feel like you've detached from uh, social norms and pat and even more than just social norms? Do you feel like you've? Do you feel a certain freedom from society? Yeah. <laughs> it took me an hour. It took me an hour to figure out how to phrase that question. <laughs> like I don't, I can't even I'm I can't even believe I found a vague way to say it and <laughs> and that's all. What? That's all I get. Yeah, man. Uh I mean, you know, everything is a double-edged sword, isn't it? Like uh, no, yeah. What do you mean? Um, there's consequences for everything. Yes, the, yes, there's consequences. So if you're an odd duck, like I'm an odd duck, then you know you miss out on certain things too. I'm sure. With that freedom. Comes great responsibility, Spider Man. <laughs> I mean, Peter. <laughs> Why would the uncle fucking call him Spider Man? Like, names him right then and there. Why? Why? I want to know why. Okay, that's. Guys, vaguely yeah, yeah please please do please do. so let's say you steal stealing is wrong right i've been thinking about this for a minute i don't steal i would never steal but let's say you steal um personally i would never steal yeah yeah um but um hey, how do you wink like that <laughs> um i only steal hearts baby um okay let's say you steal I only steal drums <laughs> There you go. You want a dad joke? Little Mermaid jokes. <laughs> I only steal drums. Keep up, podcast listeners. Um, if I steal something, let's say from uh, like a really crooked corporation, let's say Walmart. Let's say Walmart, <laughs> and I sold those profits to whoever, and I gave the profits to like some poor orphaned kids. Is stealing wrong in that situation? I mean, no. I'm gonna say no. It's not. And and the reason I bring this up is <laughs> Ash Gunn's odd duck. Like for every action, there's consequences. Type shit. I mean, you're talking about Robin Hood. Like that's, yeah, actually, yeah. That's Robin Hood. Yeah, that's what, all it is. Yeah. What happened to the end of that? I forget. I've never seen it. Fuck. Computer. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to Robin Hood? Damn it. Oh, there's my new resolution. Computer. <laughs> and it will do whatever you want. It's uh, much that better exists. than Siri. That That's out it's there. much better than Alexa. So it's the exact same code, only now. It's like Alexa, it's named root computer. yourself. That's what I'm talking about. Hmm. Alexa. Oh, wait, let me ask you something. Do you, do you never miss the difficulties? Like... Damn, it's back to this revenant shit, right? I, I didn't even mean for it to be. That's like what we talked about. Um, Never seen that. No, do you ever miss like the difficulty of life? Like, uh, do you remember when you had to like memorize how to get somewhere on a map? Mm -hmm. You had to look. I have to go this way, this way, this way, and then you had to jump in your car and just remember how to get there. Yeah. Do you ever find yourself missing that? I do. The simpler things. No, like, just something about, like, the steps you have to take to get there. Um. Yeah. Yeah. It it definitely devoted way more of your energy 
Yeah, you you had to remember, like, yeah, you had to remember phone numbers. Mm-hmm. You had to remember addresses. Yeah. It was amazing to just randomly run into someone. Yep. And a pay phone you could find for 25 yeah. cents. And then it was 50 cents. And then there were no pay phones. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Yeah. But I, I miss it. <laughs> yep. I miss something about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. For sure. But those were also the days that, like, I would accidentally turn left and, like, somehow get to Chambers. <laughs> God help me. If I ever saw Chambers, I'm done. It would be the most infuriated driving around and, like, finally stop at a gas station and look at a map. Fuck Chambers. Damn. Fuck Peoria, Chambers. I feel like it's all good until you get to uh, <laughs> something, something Tower Road. Is it, is it oh, like, aren't God. you like Tower out Road, there in Aurora yeah. when you're in Tower Road? Fuck, yeah. Yep. Only you're real like, natives know. <laughs> Only real natives know. Yeah. That's <laughs> it's like nothing but fields. There's nothing but fields. All right. Um, what the fuck were we talking about? It was important. Uh, dad jokes, pregnancy podcast. Yeah, yeah. Dad jokes, getting old. Yes. Uh. Um. Ask me. You just tell a dad joke right now. <laughs> <laughs> you can't do it on the spot. It's not a dad There's joke no dads really. here. I couldn't possibly. <laughs> <laughs> No, and he does it. And he does it on command. Know. And he does it on command. But it's starting to scare me. He can't stop. He can't Yo, stop. so Tony and I have concluded that Ashkan may or may not may have gotten a woman pregnant because his jokes have become increasingly dad. Oh my god. <laughs> no. And also, he's like surprisingly wor- like when Human first said that, like it was just like a huh. It was a joke. But then Ashkan but expressed surprising fear. <laughs> Like, yeah. out of nowhere. Not nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> so, and, you know okay. Where. All right, all right. Okay. Man, man. Uh, just, okay. oh, man, seriously, go outside, talk to the moon. Okay, I will, I will. I will, I will, I will. I'm going to go outside for real and pee. But I want to leave you guys with the question. And I'm not even going to listen to this. I'm going to run outside and pee. And I'm going to listen to this tomorrow. <laughs> I would like. gets out of the precinct for mm-hmm. peeing outside. Yeah, right. I want two grown adults to talk about. Their knowledge of female anatomy in the vaginal area. <laughs> because I'm completely lost. So, Ashka and Tony, take it away. <laughs> Listen. I'll Boy. let uh, you uh, <laughs> go ahead, I said. <laughs> All right. Uh, you know, why talk about something that I feel like I know enough about? Enough that it doesn't have anything else that needs to be said about it. Mm. My thing is, if we're trying to be famous podcasters and awesome, uh, and it's going to be on like YouTube or YouTube of the future or some shit, um, no, we got to keep it 12 years old minus or plus. So, no. What, because they're going to be our... Uh, audience? Our audience. Well, no, because you get, like, banned from YouTube if you say certain words, you know? Like, I don't know. I say go on Wikipedia. Famous. I don't know, man. There's definitely one hole. <laughs> definitely one hole. Um, to the outside. To the outside? Yeah. Yeah. There's like six on the inside. <laughs> um, it's no, it's not that simple. Fallopian tube opening one. Look, Fallopian I tube. I don't want to have this conversation. I know, but Fuck now, you, but now, <laughs> I have to ask you this. Yes. Do you believe the statement you just made? Or did you just say it for fun? 
Neither. That was more of a, this might be a fact. Well, that there's only one hole to the outside. Wait, what do you think? There's obviously what two. Are you talking about the anus? Yes. No, I'm not talking about the anus. Anatomy. She, I think he just, I don't know, check the tapes. I think he said uh, genitalia. We actually will be able to check the tapes. I think he, <clears throat> yeah, I thought he was just talking about the vagina. You said anatomy. Oh, well. But you clearly heard vagina. Everyone got an asshole. You, you clearly heard. Everyone has an anus. Maybe he didn't say anatomy. I don't know what he said. Who the fuck knows? Yeah, who, whatever. Anyway, yeah. I think we both know the female anatomy perfectly. Yeah. Yeah. He's a doctor for God's sake. I just sake. might know I might not know the scientific names of some things. Yeah. But that's that's sufficient. <laughs> that's sufficient. <laughs> that's that is sufficient. Dang, it's crazy. What do you think about being um a PhD? Damn. Um Well, I think it's a good title to have, but I think, you know, like it'll help me in life and stuff like that, but. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, no. And stuff like that. Like career wise, it'll help yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. But I think um, I think people might give it more credit than it's due. What's wrong with that? Well, okay, it it depends on the person, sure, sure. It depends <laughs> on the person. Like if you if you understand the world and academia um and you think that you know, you, you might have an idea of what it is, then that's fine. Like and I don't Wait, know what I'm trying to say, man. Did you say the world and academia, or did you say the world? The world in, of no, the oh, world of, of the world of. Um, I see. Well, I don't, and most people don't. I'm never going back to school. Right. Shit. Okay. I guess he, here's here's something that. I think it's important for people in general to understand. I, I don't know if they do or not. I don't know who does and who doesn't. Um, there's many kinds of intelligence, right? Like sure, I, sure. IQ, for example, measures a very specific part of intelligence. Yeah. It's your ability to manipulate information and memory sure, and logical sure. reasoning. That's the kind of stuff that helps you in grad school. That's the kind of stuff that helps you get a PhD. Mm -hmm. um, but it's only one very specific part of intelligence. Mm -hmm. For example, the ability to be in a group of people and understand how everyone in that group is feeling right now mm -hmm. in a certain way. That is a huge part of intelligence. You know, it's social intelligence. Or, yeah, yeah. yeah and they, 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 they sort of have a term, right? EQ. Uh, EQ, right. But that's a real part of intelligence. For whether sure. Whether... I don't know if you like you have disdain for that concept. I mm. I think that's a definite balance to the the logical, you know, reasoning mathematical part of intelligence. What's well, another slice? Uh, intuition, the ability to uh -huh. sort of know what like what's going to happen. It, like what what is the most likely thing that'll happen right now? Mm. That's why uh, I'm a genius. Yeah? yeah, I'm the best guesser. Yeah, being a good guesser. Exactly. Or none. I'm the best guesser, probably. And and then there's you know there's creativity, there's spontaneity, like wit. There's there's all these things that IQ doesn't contain. Go and on. PhD, like PhD, is a good uh, measure of IQ. I think, right? It's uh, if you can get a PhD, you've proven yourself to be good at moving information around, synthesizing it 
combining it and maybe making like a small leap forward because mm. like, you have all this information in mo- in your mind at the same time. Yeah. So maybe <coughs> you can take a small step forward. And that's that's all that science is. That's all that science is. Yeah. But there's a lot of aspects that make our lives worth living like and in general what you know what we're most proud of as humans that's not included in that so a lot of people value IQ and PhD and things like that and i feel like they're missing out they're not focusing on another uh very important part of being a human being who's they uh, the first they the first what do you mean the, the first people day? that are valuing IQ what are they missing out on what are they missing out on or is the second they the only people that are missing out on something who's they and I don't think you've answered the question no I'm, I'm trying to I'm trying to understand the question it's kind of vague it's how um, do you feel about being a PhD Right, right. Um, okay, they so. they are people who. See, here's the thing, man. Everybody's so biased. Just by being a certain person, you get such a biased side of people. Like, no one's even really a hundred percent the same person to each other. No. So I have the experience. Whenever anybody is talking to me about a PhD, mm. it's they're probably only showing me that side of them that they think will yeah. match with my what they think I am. Damn. Which, by the way, I, I do the same thing to other people too. I'm sure I do. So I, I, it's not like I'm accusing them of doing it. That's but what it sounds like. That's what it sounds like. Huh? That's what it sounds like, but that's fine. No, I, I'm just saying it's a problem. I might be part of that problem. I'm just saying it's a problem. I see. That's crazy. So I've only heard from people. So it gets annoying. Uh, no, no, I, I'm not trying to say it's annoying. I'm not trying to say it's annoying. I'm just trying to say that the the side of their opinions that I've heard is that mm-hmm. you should be blah blah blah. You should be. You should pursue this like PhD uh-huh. and then do this and do this. But no one, no one ever says to me, like you know what maybe you should work on your creativity or maybe you should work on your spontaneity. Uh-huh. No one says those things, but why not? Because They're just as important to being a human being. Like, I mean, you can start making some sort of arguments. Well, that doesn't pay the bills, but so what? Please. You're right. Please. I, I wouldn't expect to have to tell you, you that idea, right? Yeah, yeah, no, no. Yeah. But I think perhaps uh, they would say that if you were actively... Um, you know, presenting said creativity, you know, art, whatever. If I was presenting it, presenting it, take that how you want. Like presenting it, like wearing a thing that you made that's fucking glows in the light. Right. That that would bring out that. Yeah. Conversation. They'd be like, oh, right. Exactly. And he's a PhD. Right. Right. Yeah. Maybe that. Maybe I mean, that. yeah. So it could just be a limitation of, of what I've heard people say. So I, I might be totally off off here, but I I continue no, I, to emphasize that PhD is just one uh, just one little aspect of what humans are about, and people, in my experience, seem to blow it out of proportion mm. because it has nothing to do with your real satisfaction in life. It, it has nothing to do with like real happiness or like true self-satisfaction as a human being. Sure. But so I feel like at least in my circle, yeah, that the people I'm starting to, that that's not discussed enough as a subject. What? That uh there's these aspects outside of yes. knowledge outside of a collection of human knowledge. Even in your circle? To an extent, I feel that even in my circle. Like yeah. who, man, and me? No. Chance? No. No, no. I mean, the group of people you. I met, like, in grad school and stuff like that. Oh. 
yeah, well, shit. I mean, you did meet them in grad school. I mean, it is grad school. There, well, mm. there's an there's an emphasis on. Um, well, measurable. I don't know. I don't know how to okay, put it. measurable goals. Maybe you could perhaps say. it's that they, um, cling to this, you know, sliver that you're talking about intelligence. You know, doing good in school, etc. They cling to it because they have don't have some of the other things. You know, maybe it's that. So they're emphasizing it because of their lack of other uh, forms of intelligence. Um, but I would argue that they have it. Maybe they don't believe they have it. Most people don't believe they're creative. Especially like STEM. STEM. Yeah, but it's like, it, it doesn't even... It doesn't even matter if you think you're creative. Isn't there a part of you that's not satisfied by any one thing? Me? Just in general. One. It seems like no one is fully satisfied by no way. STEM, you know. Some people seem like I don't, know. I don't know. There's gotta be some people that are fully satisfied by STEM. Maybe. It's not me, it's them. I, this is, it would be great to know Einstein. <laughs> Einstein was I, But, uh... Well, I mean, like, literally one of the best at one, at that thing. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. what would he say about it? Was he smart in other parts of his life? See, Was he I an idiot argue, in other parts of his life? I would argue he's probably not qualified to say. Like, he's a god at physics and math, but... It really irks me when people are like, oh, Einstein's definition of crazy. Einstein is not qualified like psychotherapist. All right. He can tell me everything about physics. But as soon as he tries to tell me like, you know, that's uh, aggressive behavior, blah, blah, blah. Like, fuck out of here, Einstein. That's true. People do tend to do that thing where. They hear an expert in one field and assume he's an expert in others. Mm. But like, don't you just know from personal experience that, that you could know so much about one thing and know nothing mm. about another? That, that that's very true. Yeah. And another thing that happens. Let me just say. Let me just finish this one. <laughs> let me just finish the one thought. So like I said, this podcast is based off suspense. So I appreciate you guys listening to the Ashcon and Anton episode. This is pretty cool. Yeah, go ahead and say the last thing to him. Kind of forgot what it was. Shit. <laughs>